I am home and I have to do some orders. I have to go drop them off after. I'm trying to get this all done before I go pick up the kids. I also have to go get some formula because Theo is running out of this formula so quick. And I have to get them something to eat as well because I did not have a chance to cook today. We just came back from our walk. Oh, Addy fell. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, Ooh. it's wet. So, Addy fell. Now she has this. She fell flat on, I mean, not flat, but like she scraped the sidewalk with her face because she was looking at some lady. So, she was careful with you. So she was falling behind, and so she ran to me, and that's when she tripped on her own feet, and she fell. Yeah? You okay? I do like this! Yeah. You okay? Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. And then we got Rajas in here. My dad's about to come to come see her. Come see her, ouch. Yeah, okay. He's coming. He's coming later. Yeah. Look at her teeth. Theo's over there. He wants his out. Yeah, he's not comfortable in there. Go show Kiki. So, turns out, I think in my heart now, I think that the person that bid on the Amazon jacket was a, I think it was like a bot or something, because they haven't yeah. bought it, they haven't replied to my messages, and I am pissed, so I, re I relisted already. There's two watchers, and I'm hoping nobody that's a bot bids on it, because that would be so annoying. My shoes, I'm taking the shoes. No, this is just dirt. This is so cool. It's too cool. Here. You want to put on the shoes? Yes. Oh, these are so cool. Addy. Uh -huh. <gasps> Is that Princess Addy? Princess Addy. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh
Is Addy? Yeah. Good to see you. Hi. Is that really there? No, she's sick. Oh yeah, do you see me? These are waterproof. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to put these. Shark! It's shark! Yeah, you can put the baby shark on tomorrow. Okay. Baby shark tomorrow. Please sit there. princess her shirt under is like super poofy so she looks she looks chunky look at her bandage bro my carpet is so dirty like i don't even i genuinely don't know how it got like that it's removable, but we're gonna. Well, yeah, I guess I can do it myself. You come back. I stay here. Yeah, you stay here. Why? I stay here, right? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay now? Yes. Princess Bandit? Yeah. So cute. came home today i'm not sure if i vlogged it i think i was just in shock and i was trying to figure out what to do about the situation how to feel or like i was just in shock so i don't know if i vlogged out i don't remember but adeline came home today the first thing she said as soon as her teacher handed her to me she was like Miss Blank put something on my face. And I was like, okay, I actually have heard that before. She has told me that before. Like, unfortunately, I try to brush it off. But then she mentioned something that just really took me by surprise. She said, Miss Blank hit Theo. And then that's when I was like, that's when I was in shock and I was like, oh my God, like, even to this point, like, I'm not sure what to do. Like, then I, I asked her a couple of questions because I was just trying to get to the bottom of it. Like, I was trying to see, like, if there's more to it. Like, I was like, what did he do? Like, was it hard? Like, was he crying? She's like, yeah, it was hard. She showed me that she was hitting him in the back like i just tried to ask her so many questions to try to get to the bottom of it but i swear like she keeps on saying the same thing like my kid does not lie like right now everything that she says is just the truth and it's just what she observes like i don't i like i don't know how she could make that up like i i genuinely don't believe that she's lying i don't know what to do i really don't know what to do 
I think I'm going to tell the director. I'm not approving that. I'm not, I'm not supporting that. I'm not okay with her, the teacher, hitting anybody, not my kids, not anybody else's kids, because we send our kids there to be safe, to be taught. Yes, yelling is, it's not even okay. Yelling is not okay, especially because they're not her children. And being physical is even worse. But discipline, disciplining them, like going to time out if they have a tantrum or something is fine for me. Like I remember at the, not at the beginning, but like sometime like in the middle from when I went, from when I've taken her, I remember coming home and telling my mom about those instances too. But I've told her before, like two or three times that Adeline has came home saying stuff like that. Like, I don't even know if I should take them to school tomorrow. Like, I'm genuinely, like, unsure of what to do. On another note, there's just something else going on. And I'm, like, I'm trying not to let these things get to me because any other day, like, any other time in my life, I'd be, like, sad about these things. But I'm just, I just have a different mentality. So this is going on right now, still. I have to get the kids' passports. The, their dad's family is being difficult. The dad himself has gone to another country and I need to get something signed. So I think I'm just going to take him off the birth certificates and just move on. Like, I'm not playing around with this anymore. Like, A, my time is valuable. B, my word is valuable. Like, if I need something done, if I want something done, I want to get it and I will get it. Um, and if people are playing around, like, then they're going to learn. I'm not going to let things like that get to me. I'm just going to move I'm just going to move, move, move forward um, with my kids. Today, Adeline fell on our walk. We were coming back home and some lady got out of her car. And sometimes I just, I let her walk behind a little bit. She does th things like that, but I'm always turning around. So she, she, she started staring at the lady and I was walking forward and she was a little behind. So she ran to me and on her way back, she tripped on her feet and then it's almost like she couldn't catch herself and so she scraped her face on the sidewalk she like her face like slid and now she has like this this scratch right here it's like right here and now it's turning red right here which is so sad i'm just hoping she feels better tomorrow i'm hoping she heals my dad put sugar on her face i hope everything turns out the way it's supposed to i hope everything is in good faith for me there was a point in my life where i would just do things and it would be just ignorant and it would be unthoughtful and it would be just in with malintention but this time in life like i'm just going with the flow like i'm literally just letting things go in their own way and i'm not trying to attach any bad significance to it i'm just trying to get things done and I am trying to live happy. Like I said, my goal in life is just to be happy. I want to travel with my kids. I want to be able to give them a great life, like the one that I was given, um, if not even better than that. And I'm, I would gladly do it by myself. If their dad wants to keep on seeing them, if their dad wants any contact with him, he has to start providing now. Otherwise, it's just done and um, time to move on. That's all I got to say. I keep on saying that's all I gotta say, but it's not. There's so many thoughts in my mind that I want to let out, but I'm like, oh, don't don't publicize because I don't know. It's just what's happening in my life. These are my thoughts, and I'm not like a laughing stock. Like I'm not. I'm not here to play. Like I'm just not. So at this point, the kids are sleeping, and I'm gonna be up editing, be up working. It's pretty much all I do without the kids um sometimes with the kids because i'm just grinding like i'm just on i'm just on like autopilot just doing creating just trying to get to my goals one way or another with two kids and i want to say i'm doing it with myself by myself but i'm not um there's always help around me my family helps me i help me um i eventually want to be the only one helping me and my kids so that's why I'm on autopilot, just trying to figure this out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everything I say has meaning to it. I hope that you guys take something good out of this and know that you're not alone. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.